morning we're going to talk about the death card. Now these are the graves of my grandparents, Edith Thomas, Eckholm, and grandfather I never met, Lars Eckholm. Eckholm. Plain grave in the corner of Willowbrook Cemetery. You're not going to catch any ghosts here. It's a very nice, peaceful, good. Um, some people think that the death card means physical death. I'm not going to lie to you, it could, but 99.9% .9 of the time it means change. So there's good change and, and bad change. The good change is the change that you choose and it could be now that the kids are grown and gone to college and have their own apartments we will do what we've always wanted to do and travel. That can be in the death card. You could move. That can be in the death card. Um, or it could be bad change or what we consider bad change. Your business goes under, or you get sick, your pet dies, you know, you get a divorce. That's a big one. Sometimes in a relationship, if you see the death card, yes, it does mean an ending to that particular relationship. Sometimes, and I view it's about every other year or so, most people will let go of a relationship on a friendship level. So you will say, this person no longer suits my lifestyle. This man's no good for me. I'm going to gently put this relationship aside and focus on others. Choice is big if you want the death card to be a positive experience. An example could be you're afraid that the PTA mothers will you know, blacklist you if you don't go along with the popular program, but you choose to do your own thing on a school level. Or you're afraid that your daughter will be ostracized if she doesn't go to one of those alternative proms because this other boy got suspended and this boy's mother is one of the popular mothers and so you're going to say goodbye to that whole unhealthy town slash school slash neighborhood relationship. That can be the death card as well. Sometimes change could be spiritual. Maybe this year you're going to put away the white Protestant Christmas bulbs and have a big Yule log celebration to celebrate your new pagan ways. If you want to access or deal with, for most people, the energies of the death card, for, ex for example, you have a tremendous loss, these are three ways to help you. Visit ancestral graves. It's comforting to know that your people are always with you in spirit. Another way is to hold a symbolic funeral. Take two stones, one representing you and one representing the person, thing, or situation you have lost. Tie them together with the red string. Cut the red string take the string and bury it in the ground. Then you take your two stones. The stone that represents the person, thing, or situation you have lost, throw it off your property, well far away. Take the, then take the stone that represents you, put it on a mantle, and put very handsome, elegant, wonderful gemstones all around it to cheer you up and see if things don't improve. If you are emotionally angst-ridden and have fury and rage, write it all down on a piece of paper and burn the piece of paper in your fireplace safely with a rhyming prayer. The rhyming prayer could be 
something you make up anything as long as it rhymes. I burn this paper, let it be, good things now will come to me. Okay, have a 